I also know. I also know about the little challenge game. I know about the little challenge game with uh, with women. Is this your girlfriend right here? Do you know about the challenge game? This your girl? My wife. This is your wife. And how long have you two been about to break up? <laughs> Let's go. Snap to it. <laughs> how long have you guys been uh, been together? Okay, so you know about the challenge game, or do you not know about the challenge game? You don't know? Well, listen to this shit. I'm about to blow your mind. Because once you hear this, okay, once you hear what I'm about to unleash, then it's going to all make sense, okay? Several times throughout the day, every day, your girl will play this little game. It's almost a choose-your-own-adventure game that girls play. It's, it's a question, and then there's answer A, and there's answer B, and uh, they're both fucking wrong. How do you identify? You're saying, Dan, how do I know it's coming? The first half of the first sentence is always exactly the same. Your girl's going to come up, whatever it is you're doing, and she's going to go, what would you do if... Followed by a mumbo jumbo that you better be ready to dance with, okay? One time my girl's making a big turkey dinner with all the fixings, and she just came up to me and she goes, what would you do if I took all the food I just cooked and I threw it away? I was like, uh, don't, first of all, don't do that. Like, maybe you should get the fuck out of the kitchen if you're even considering that right now. If you do that, I'm going to walk to Subway, but I'm going to be ruminating about what a bitch you are for throwing away all the fucking fresh food. Throwing away all the food, baby? No. You want to throw away the green beans? I don't give a shit. I don't like the green beans anyway. <laughs> One day she's driving the car, and I'm sitting with her, and apparently we're low on gasoline, and she goes, what would you do if I didn't tell you we were about to run out of gas, and I just let us run out of gas? You're asking me, what would I do if you knowingly let us run out of gasoline? I would call you a fucking asshole to your face. That's a horrible thing to do. This is a dangerous road to be letting us run out of gas. Don't do that. Hey, don't do that. I took her to a football game, and we're standing in line. We're waiting to be scanned to go into the stadium, and she's holding the tickets. Because two things I know about girls. You love to hold the tickets, and you don't want a table. You want a fucking booth, and you'll wait. She got the tickets. She just turns back to me and goes, what would you do if I took your ticket and my ticket and after they scanned me, I went in and I didn't come back for you? I don't know, maybe backtrack this entire relationship, try to find my ex and work things out? That's just off the top. How's that, how's that grab you? Line's moving. Line's moving. It's unfair because girls, you don't like when we play the game. That's what sucks about it. When we try to play the game, you think it's really out of control, right? When my girl took me to a big family reunion and I walked up to her, I go, what would you do if I came out of your mother's bedroom covered in blood going, we gotta get out of here? <laughs> That's not funny, Dane. I know it's not funny. I'm covering your mom's blood. We gotta go. If it was funny, I'd say, come here. You gotta see what I did to your mom. Trust me, this is gonna work out. Come here. The more, the more I realized and started hearing this, I realized that my own hypothesis went further, and it's not just women. Guys, we actually play this game with each other, but it's so salacious. It's a far more sinister game. Uh, one time I was driving, me and my buddy Bobby uh, were at a red light, and we casually look over, there's a daycare, and Bobby turns to me and goes, dude, what would you do if when we looked in the window of that daycare, there was a teacher blowing a little boy who was crying? <laughs> Would we drive away or go in and kick his ass? I was like, well, we would definitely go in and kick his ass. He goes, all right, dude, check it out. After we saw the teacher blowing the little boy who was weeping, what if you looked down and I had an erection? I would deal with that later. I... Can you not add a third amendment to this horrific Dateline episode? This is...